Welcome to Classroom Idaho, Learn at Home, Fall 2020, a partnership of the Idaho State Board of Education, the Boise School District, and Idaho Public Television. Um, so thank you for attending our virtual All Things Senior Workforce Bound event this evening. Um, my name is Jessica and I am an enrollment specialist with Lewis Clark State College and I'm going to be the moderator for this event. Um, so we're really excited to have these events for you guys virtually in your home and hope that whatever your decision is after high school, um, we've helped you with some options. Tonight we have some amazing guests to share some programs you may have never heard of. Um, this is being recorded, so you have if you have to pop off, we will have a recording of this on our North Idaho Higher Education website, as well as our previous events, All Things, Col um, All Things Senior College and Military Bound. Our speakers tonight will include Brandy and Kim from Job Corps, Michelle Garrett with North Idaho College's Workforce Training, April and Michelle with the Department of Labor and Marine with the Idaho Business for Education. We'll conclude the evening with a live question and answer session. Right now in the chat box, you'll see our speakers' contact information and how to reach them outside of this event. Um, if you do have questions along the way, please feel free to, you can either chat them directly um, or as a group and we can answer them that way for you. So with that, we're first gonna get started with Brandy and Kim from Job Corps. They are um, the largest free residential education and job training program for eligible young adults 16 to 24. Their goal is to connect you with the skills and education you need to get the career you want. Hi guys, thanks for being here tonight. And I was just needing to share my screen if I'm able to. At this point it's disabled, so let's See if we can get that, there we go. Okay, sorry, technical difficulties, right? So I have an overview for you on Job Corps, just to give you some more information about what we do, in case this might be interesting for you. Um, so we provide free, free career training, like Jessica was just saying. Job Corps is a residential program. So I say it's kind of like a mini college campus, um, you're going and living there, living in a dorm. Um, you're just working on career certifications instead of a degree. The great thing about Job Corps is it is all free. So we'll talk more about that. A little bit of background information on Job Corps is that um, we've been around since 1964, actually. We are a national program. So there are campuses across the United States living in Idaho. You can apply our region as Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. So you can apply to the campuses in Washington and Oregon. You have up to two years to complete Job Corps, but it is self-paced, so it doesn't take everyone that long. That's just the longest amount of time that you can be at Job Corps. So a little bit more about our region. So we have nine campuses throughout Washington and Oregon. We have 30 different career training options that we offer. Actually, I think we're over 30 now, um, but you can see kind of the sectors that we provide training in. So under construction, they're gonna be things like cement masonry, brick masonry, construction, um, painting, welding, things like that. Automotive, we even offer heavy equipment operator, heavy equipment repair, truck driving. We've got the forestry, medical trades that we offer. There's gonna be certified nursing assistant, um, certified medical assistant, pharmacy tech. Um, then we have computers and business. Some others would be like culinary, protective services and homeland security. So lots of different things that you can get a career certification in so you can go find that job, right? So with Job Corps being free and being a federal program, you do have to qualify. Uh, so you do have to be between the ages of 16 to 24. There is a low income guideline. So that's a little bit of a gray area. If you guys are interested in apply after you turn 18, then we're just looking at your income. So if you're not working, then you'd meet that low income guideline. If someone wants to apply when they were 16 or 17, then the household needs to be low income. A good indicator is maybe if your family gets food stamps or free reduced lunch, those kinds of things automatically qualify your family as low income. There's even a waiver due to disability though. So lots of ways um, to make sure you meet that guideline. There is a zero tolerance policy. So that's one thing with Job Corps. Um, there is no drugs, alcohol, or violence allowed at the Job Corps campuses. 
and then a limited criminal involvement. So you can't currently be on probation, have any upcoming court dates. If you own any fines, they have to be under a certain amount. So that's what makes it all free though, is you qualify for Job Corps and then you get that whole experience um, while you're there. And here's some of the other benefits that we provide. So we talked about the training. I mentioned you go live there at the Job Corps campus. Uh, you're provided a uniform that you wear to your training day. It's gonna relate to your trade. So if you're in construction, you're wearing Carhartts and work boots. If you're in medical, you're wearing scrubs and that's all provided for you. So you can start getting used to wearing that that you'd wear to your career. Every campus um, has a lot of recreation activities. So you go to your training day, uh, usually Monday through Friday, like eight to five. So then you have free time on nights and weekends. So they all have a gym with the weight room, rec rooms with pool tables. All the dorms have common areas with TVs and gaming systems. You can sign up on the weekends for outings, different activities that the campus does. Um, there can be, you know, a campus like we have Curlew all the way up north and near the Canadian border up in the mountains. They do a lot of outdoor activities, so that's really great. Uh, we have driver's education that we offer. We really want to give you the whole package when you graduate job course. You have everything you need to go get that job. So driver's ed is really helpful too. You make a little bit of money. Um, everything's free though, so your housing, your meals, your training. So you just get a little bit of money every two weeks. It's just $25 uh, to kind of help out with the snacks and toiletry items. Transitional money though, that's a different benefit. That's when you graduate, you can earn up to $1,000, depends on what you accomplished at Job Corps. And then Kim's actually gonna go into these next couple benefits on the next slide. So I'll let her go into that. Hi there. So um, after you leave Job Corps, you graduate from Job Corps, you are assigned a career transition specialist and their job is to help you for over a year after you leave the center, help you find a job if you haven't gotten one when you left uh, by providing job leads, updating your resume, um, anything that you need that's gonna get you hired. We also help with finding community resources for housing, transportation, um, maybe food stamps, anything that you're gonna need that's gonna help you succeed as far as finding a job. We also can um, help you work with the local military recruiters and the local colleges and try to um, help you get into listed into the military or enrolled in college. So that's pretty much what happens after you leave Job Corps. So we're going to show you a quick video as well, just so you get a better visual. It's just a few minutes long. Um, but just before we do that, so I don't have to go back and forth between the PowerPoint and the video, I just wanted to share my contact information and say that if this was something you're interested in, I am the admissions counselor for your area. So I'd be working with you. So there's my contact info. And that since you guys are graduating seniors, um, typical times we'd have you apply, usually like a month or two before. Uh, graduation or whenever you're ready to go. However, with all things COVID-19, um, I would probably look at maybe early spring and checking in and seeing what the process uh, timeline, the wait might look like at that time. All right, so let me go ahead and get that video. Job Corps gives you the skills you need to master life. At Job Corps, they teach you those skills. You can get a lot from Job Corps, but you need to work for it. Careers begin at Job Corps. You want a career? Start building one at Job Corps. Come to Job Corps showed me that I have way more options than I ever thought. Job Corps helps you gain skills, but it also provides much more. The price of admission isn't money. It's the desire to succeed. Oh yeah, you definitely have to work. You have to make sure you, you can't be lazy. It's a big sense of responsibility and big leap into adulthood. If you're wondering free, what's the catch? There is no catch. When you arrive, Job Corps instructors and advisors work with you on finding a career path. You get hands-on experience, and so it makes everything more real. And the instructors care about you. They take their time for whoever wants to learn. Your career path will depend on which industry and training area you choose to pursue. I love getting my hands dirty, so I chose plumbing. I'm studying CNA on my way to becoming a registered nurse. I'm currently studying to become a pharmacy technician. 
Job Corps offers training options in high-demand industries like healthcare, information technology, and manufacturing. Studying computer tech. I'm studying welding. I'm studying office administration. I'm studying to be an auto mechanic. At Job Corps, you get one-on-one -on -one training that allows you to learn at your own pace. If you excel, you may be able to take advanced training courses and get an even bigger jump on the job market. I got my Microsoft certifications here. Now that I'm in the trade and I'm getting more hands-on and learning more about what I'm going to do with my future, it's definitely fulfilling. Through Job Corps' partnerships with education programs and community colleges, you can earn credits toward a college degree. You can even finish your high school education if you need to. Job Corps gave me the opportunity to be able to go to um, college and, and put my best foot forward. I finished my high school at Job Corps. Job Corps is a great program for people who've never had these kind of opportunities. Um, from ages 16 to 24, you get to focus on school, and that's it. Job Corps rewards work. And they give you a place to stay and feed you while you're doing it. While in Job Corps, basic needs like housing, meals, and medical care are provided. This helps students to be able to focus more on learning and reaching career goals. You're away from your family, but at the same time, you know, you're here for a reason. I'm here for my career, and being here on center, it allows me to focus on that. You can become an active part of the center and contribute positively to your community. You'll practice important life skills like following rules and having your own responsibilities. You have to work hard. It's a test of your work ethic. I learned how to be a great team leader and I learned how to um, perfect my communication skills. Job Corps opens options to you. As a Job Corps graduate, you'll be on a career pathway. Job Corps students can tell you it's for real. They help you find a job. I just finished studying carpentry and I already have a job lined up. Job Corps turned my life around because it made me more responsible and to think about my future. You're now in a position where it's only you and you choose to be the person you want to be. If you want to prepare yourself for a real career with real earning potential, find out more about Job Corps. You come in not knowing what to expect, but you leave taking things out that are going to stick with you for the rest of your life. When they say careers begin here, it's true. My career began here. It's true. Job Corps. Job Corps. Job Corps. Careers begin here. Okay, thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much, Brandy and Kim, for that overview of Job Corps. Um, remember, if you guys have questions specifically for either of them, you guys can message them directly in the chat box. Um, and up next, we're going to have Michelle Garrett, who is going to give us an overview of what North Idaho College's workforce training has. Also, during the presentation, you will see somebody. We have someone named NIC Workforce Training Chat. You guys feel free to message them independently while Michelle is talking. She's not going to be able to talk and answer questions at the same time. Um, so yeah, let's hear what Michelle has to say. Hi, thank you for having me. So I'm here to represent um, North Idaho College Workforce Training Center. We are um, located in Post Falls. And like Jessica mentioned in the chat, we have um, a person who's available to answer any specific questions you guys might have. The first thing I wanna do is show you our website. This really is the best way to cumulatively look and see what we have for different offerings. We specialize in non-traditional students, I would say. People who may not be prepared to um, be degree seeking, but they want a license or a credential or an opportunity to um, advance their education and find the right pathway for them. So I'm going to share with you my screen and show you what our um, website looks like. So this is workforce training. It really is nic.edu. You, you would scroll down and click on workforce training center. This is the easiest way to see kind of our information and um, all of the different offerings that we have. So as you scroll down, you'll notice the first thing up here on the right is programs. And I really like this because we want to talk today about specifically apprenticeships, dual credit, for you seniors that are heading out of the high schools this year, 
you still have your dual credit funding that you could use for next semester, you would contact me for workforce training, our amazing dual credit team on main campus who can help you with that. Um, um, aside from our apprenticeship offerings, we have our health professions program, firefighting, business and professional development, trades and industries, um, community education and customized training. So I wanna show you guys um, a little bit of information on how the best way, you know, how you would find the best way to apply and log in. You do not have to apply to Workforce Training Center. We register students who wanna come in and they may wanna take a quick course in CNA. So let's pull that up first here. We're gonna go health professions right here. Health professions encompasses a lot at workforce training. You'll notice over here we have EMT, CNA, mental health, medical assistant, restorative assistant, dental assistant. And as I scroll down, this is the best way to get the information. When someone calls and they wanna know about prerequisites or requirements, they can click on any of these and find out what do I need? So let's use for example here, phlebotomy. Our phlebotomy program, you can see, has its own dedicated information. And in fact, we'll show you the syllabus straight up front. You can find out a little bit about, you know, how many active um, and successful punctures you have to have within the program. And let's go back one more time here. Let's say someone was interested in dental. They can click enroll. And this will take them to our online catalog. So the catalog will show you, you know, when is the next class right here, January, the course cost. And if you click on the course title, we can then find information about payment, funding assistant. Um, you'll notice on here that this program prepares you to sit for the American Medical Technologist exam and the registered dental assistant certification. So um, this will show you again your prerequisites, high school diploma or equivalency, current basic life support card. And when we go back in here, what's nice about it is that we have so many classes, hundreds of classes actually, but all the information is directly at your fingertips. I do want to show you our dual credit courses for you seniors who are still in school. We just added one last week. So that was great. Part of our classes that are eligible for dual credit include firefighter one, EMT, patient care coordinator, plumbing, electrical, HVAC. Those three are apprentices. Um, patient care technician, dental assistant, CNA, and mental health. Keep scrolling down and you'll see right here, view information on each program. This is really important. It will show you the requirements that you have to have for this class as far as age, immunizations. It'll show you the student cost and that will lead us right into scholarship. So if we go back one here, underneath student resources, this one's really important, funding assistance, and then our scholarship application. Our scholarship team meets about once a week, depending on you know, life and circumstances. And that's our goal is to meet and review applications and use our funding. And so what's really nice about that is that when people call, you know, it, it's a, it can be an expensive cost, but we provide opportunities for them to make sure that they meet their goals. Our next portion that I wanna show you guys um, is specific to our apprenticeship programs and Department of Labor is here today. They're gonna to go over that too. We offer um, a medical assistant apprenticeship, but then these apprenticeships are in plumbing, electrical and HVAC. You can see the program standards, the tuition. This is for our current program. As we get information out for next summer, these classes will open in July for the next school year. It'll come out in the summertime. And so you can see, um, you know, here's our registration requirements for apprentice, how to become an apprentice. How would you, you know, end up being a journeyman? That's a good question on here. Who would you get your license with? You can scroll down and see the fees and registration the correspondence course, which is an online course for that. And then the journeyman requirement. So lots of good information on our website. And um, we are going to now look at our WIOA program. So we have a program for people, and this can be applicable um, to high school students called Qualified Worker Retraining Program. It's not necessarily for 
the youth, that would be through Department of Labor, but it is an option to help pay for schooling for people, which is really nice, and to help them get there and make sure that they can accomplish those goals. It does co cover, um, at times, based upon eligibility, apprenticeship and different health professions programs. You can learn more and contact Terry through North Idaho College. And then we want to look at um, whoops, let me go back up here, find a class. So when I click find a class, it takes us to our online catalog. You guys might know workforce training from your mailbox that you do receive a catalog from us in the mail showing you all our different offerings and the things that we have. Well, it seems like the minute we send that out, something changes, right? And so if you're able to go online and look at our online catalog, this is the most current and updated way to view our courses, to make sure that the information is correct at that moment. Um, if someone called in and they wanted to know about Firefighter, we may not have the 2021 class in there, but we would have it in here. So I'm gonna click on Firefighter One Academy. You'll see that um, the class starts in January. There's three seats left. I do believe this class had filled up today. If we go back to our main page, this was nic.edu forward slash WTC. I'm gonna go straight there just so I can show you. I'm gonna scroll down and click on firefighting. You need to click the apply now button. This is what kind of gets you in and says, okay, what do you guys offer? Am I eligible to be accepted into this program? And then you'll be contacted after they've reviewed your application. Um, is there anything in the chat? Let me take a look here and see what we've got. Oh, okay. So yeah, I think it's really important to mention that we don't have prereqs. We don't have classes that you have to take in order to be eligible to take a class. It's not as if it's a degree option. Um, I appreciate that question too. The nice thing about workforce training is if you want to be a CNA, you take the CNA class. If you choose, you can transfer those credits over to main campus for a degree in certain courses. If you finish all four years of an apprenticeship program, those those credits can be transferred to main campus. Um, same with CNA and Firefighter One. Other classes, for example, if you wanted to be a dental assistant, you would just have to take dental assisting. You wouldn't come in and take English and math and science. You would just do dental assisting. Um, and so if, if the class you know, requires a certificate or a license, we have testing a lot of times on site for that. So I hope that's really helpful. Um, I can certainly put, oh, it looks like someone added our website in the chat. And if you guys have questions at all, feel free to reach out and contact me regarding the rest of your funds for dual credit for those high school seniors. And if you guys have any questions about the trades and industry fields or anything that we can specifically answer. Thanks so much. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I love all this information that we're receiving tonight. It's just a lot of things maybe we didn't know about that you don't have to necessarily go to college to earn a certificate and go in the workforce. There's so many different options available for us. Um, again, please know you guys can reach out directly um, to each person.
Funding for Classroom Idaho has been provided by the Friends of Idaho Public Television, the Idaho Public Television Endowment, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. You're watching Idaho Public Television's Create Channel, continuing education, how-tos, and travel programs for lifelong learners.